noises move all over this place from the left to the right and from the right to the left your power your divine visitation in the name of Jesus let it rain right now 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 let it rain healing Chapter 5, chapter 5, from verse number 16. Verse 16. Let's go back there and start from there. And then I'm more. When you ignore your problem, you will not even know if there was a problem. Tu ne sauras même pas si so the reason we see problems, la raison pour laquelle nous the reason we see challenges, la raison pour laquelle nous les challenges. is because we focus on the challenges. And then we magnify the challenges. And we make it to look bigger than us. And then you begin to say, hey, Tu commences à dire, oh, je ne sais pas. Le problème est trop. Comment peux-tu confesser ton problème est trop? Et par tes paroles, tu commences à être instable. Par tes paroles, tu vas commencer à parler. Paul dit, ne vous souciez de rien. For nothing. Ne vous dérangez par rapport à rien. Don't be anxious about your problem. Ne soyez pas inquiet de vos problèmes. When you say by prayers, Et il par la prière. And supplication. Et supplication. And with thanksgiving. Et les actions de grâce. Let your request be made known to God. Que les faits que vos demandes soient faites. You wonder Dieu. why sometimes God don't answer your prayer. Et je tu te demande pourquoi souvent Dieu ne répond pas à tes prières. Because you pray with complaint. Parce que tu pries avec des 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 des, des plaintes. You wonder why God don't grant your request. Je te demande pourquoi Dieu Dieu ne répond pas parce que tu te demandes avec tes plaies au moins avec des actions de what is the nature of your request quelle est la nature de ta demande à Dieu est-ce que tu what is the nature of your request quelle est la nature de ta demande how are you coming to please your request comment est-ce que tu viens faire ta demande are you driven by complaint est-ce que tu es conduit par la are you driven by fear est-ce que tu es in everything il a toutes choses so no matter what you're going through I you see that so Paul, 
Paul did not categorize the problem. Paul did not say, when you are feeling pain, then come and pray. Et tu dois thank God. Et, et remercier. They did not say, Il n'a pas dit. When you don't have food to eat, quand tu n'as pas à manger, come and pray and thank God. Viens et prie et remercie Dieu. He said in everything. Il dit en toutes choses. Am I going to somebody here? Whether there is pain, whether there is no food, whether there is no joy, whether you are in pain of affliction, 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 whether you are in pain of so you must come in the presence of God with thanksgiving in your heart appreciating God for what he has done thus far in your life because the, 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 the attitude of men is that they forget easily what God has done for them yesterday because of what they have seen today and they forget the glory of God forget the miracle of God of yesterday and say they are putting only the problems that they have now they have to come in the presence of God with an attitude of thanksgiving making your request with joy with thanksgiving making your request with joy even if there is pain in your life even if there is pain in your life even if there is pain in your life you are request to God. So true worshippers, they don't complain. True worshippers, they don't mumble. They don't whine and they don't weep. But they have an open heart. Mais ils ont un cœur ouvert. They have a thankful heart. Ils ont un cœur ouvert. They are grateful. They have an open heart. Ils ont un cœur ouvert. They have a thankful heart. Ils ont un cœur ouvert. They are grateful to God for everything. Ils sont reconnaissants. The Bible says in everything. La Bible dit à tout chose. Give thanks to God. Donnez gloire à Dieu. This is the will of God. Tel est sa volonté. The next verse says. When you come into the presence of God, with the attitude of thanksgiving, attitude de 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 de, the Bible says the peace of God, the Bible says the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, which passes all comprehension. Read the scripture. Quoi? Ça va rendre ta vie, va remplir ton cœur. The peace of God, la paix de Dieu. I decree upon the side of somebody. C'est la vie de quelqu'un. Ça the peace of God, la paix de Dieu. It shall keep your heart. Va garder ton cœur. It shall keep your heart. Va garder ton cœur. I speak the peace of God into your heart. La paix de Dieu dans ton cœur. I don't know the trouble in your life. Ce qui est dans ta vie. I declare the peace of God. La paix de Dieu. I don't know what has been causing the war in your heart. Qui est les inquiétudes dans ton cœur. I decree that the peace of God keeps your heart. La paix de Dieu, c'est la paix de Dieu, c'est la paix de Dieu, c'est la paix de Dieu. I release the peace of God into your family. I release the peace of God into your destiny. I release the peace of God into your career. Go pray for the Philippian church. He said, "Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. But by prayer, thanksgiving, supplication, and thanksgiving, we are." Be made known to God, and the peace of God, and the peace of God. So Paul spoke the peace of God. He prayed for the peace of God. And as I'm speaking now, God is telling me that there is somebody here who has not had peace for some time, for some time now. But right now you are receiving peace. 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 I don't know what I've been suffering in you, but I come with a message of peace. I come with a message. And I decree and I declare that may the peace of God fill your heart. May the peace of God. Fill your mind. Am I talking to somebody here? If that person is 
the shoe. May your enemy be low. And that of your name. True worshippers. They keep creating to all that they are to the Lord. The true worshippers. They have the attitude of giving credit. To give credit at you. Of all that they are, to tout ce qu'ils sont, God, you don't take the glory. In First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, Paul says, "I am what I am." Paul says, "I am what I am." He 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 says, "I am what I am." For anything that he was, Paul was the persecutor of the church. The Paul was the persecutor of the Christian. He was moving up and down, killing Christians. And one, and one fateful day, he was on assignment to go and slaughter the Christian. And on his way, the Bible says there was a light from heaven that shone on Paul. And God him blind instantly. And he began to hear a voice. And God began to call him from heaven. Oh, so, 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 so. Why art thou persecuting me? Why art thou kicking against the preacher? He had an encounter with God. So it was not by his works. And Paul became the greatest of the apostles. Paul said when he went to Jerusalem and he met other disciples, he said he saw the grace of God that was upon his life. And they gave him a right hand of fellowship. So Paul was the product of grace. And I come to announce to you that when the product of grace so you cannot go down. You are the product of grace. So nobody can put you down. You are the product of grace. The reason why Paul could not be killed, the reason why Paul could not be drowned in the sea, was because he was the product of grace. I'm asking somebody here. Why the serpent in the island of Milita could not kill Paul? It was because Paul was the product of grace. Am I talking to somebody here? Listen to me. There are things that you will handle. And the viper will come there to bite you. But the viper will not bite you. Because you are the fruit of your grace. And Paul could truly say, I am what I am. I have a grace of God. I have come to announce to somebody that you are what you are. I have a grace of God. The grace of God is a work in your life. The grace of God is making you because you're a true worshiper in the mighty name of Jesus. So true worshippers, they give credit to God for everything that they are. They give credit to God. And what God is telling me to announce to somebody that His grace will make you. I didn't hear you very well. He said, I should announce to you that His grace will make you. I said, His grace will make you. His grace will make you. Said, His grace will make you. True worshippers, they have no confidence in the flesh. True worshippers, they don't have confidence in their flesh. But they have confidence in their flesh. In the grace of God, is that is at work in their life. There is no confidence in the flesh. Because flesh represents man's fallen and unredeemed humanness. Because the chair represents the fall, the chute of man. So flesh is is the fallen state of man. Because the chair is the state of man. So you you cannot trust in the flesh. Because you cannot trust in the flesh. Because you cannot trust in the flesh. Human ability, apart from God, apart from you, is worthless. So when you are two worshippers, you know that the ability that you have is worthless. This is what Paul was declaring to the Corinthian church that it was not by his human ability, but it is by the grace of God. So true worshippers know that the human ability, apart from God. 
go about from God is worthless. But it is not it is the spirit that quicken it. It's in flesh profited nothing. La chaîne flesh will profit you nothing. La chaîne va in John chapter 6, 63. Jean chapitre 6. He said the word that I speak to you. Et la parole que je they are spirit for and they are life. So you must come in the presence of God. With the attitude of worship. Listen de attitude to me. Attitude. Your attitude before God attitude de will determine your attitude. Your attitude of worship your attitude will determine your attitude. As you open your heart, that is how God will carry you higher. I want to give somebody here. Who worship They turn from sin, from from sinful self effort. I embrace the truth of salvation because it is past grace alone. We are empowered by the grace of God. We are kept by the grace of God. Verse nine. That's it. He said, "None of works, lest any man should push." Are you seeing that? It's not of works. Ce n'est pas de nous. It's not of the ability of the flesh. Ce n'est pas à cause des habiletés charnelles. But the grace of God. C'est par la grâce. Because if it is by your works, ce ne sont pas tes moyens. Then you will boast. Alors tu vas te. Are you understanding me? Et tout. And that's why the Bible says. C'est la raison pour laquelle la Bible. God is not a respecter of person. Dieu n'est pas quelqu'un. So you don't understand how it works. God is not a respecter of person. Dieu n'est pas quelqu'un qui ne respecte pas. God cannot allow anybody to boast. Dieu ne permet pas à n'importe qui. There was a time that Saul in the Bible wanted to boast. Il y a un certain moment dans la Bible où Paul and God just put him aside and bring in David. Et Dieu, am I talking to somebody here? Dieu a mis ça. God is not a respecter of anyone. Dieu ne respecte pas les gens. We are made by the grace of God. Nous sommes faits par la grâce de Dieu. Lord, ask me to announce something. Le Seigneur m'a demandé d'annoncer la grâce de Dieu. La grâce de Dieu sera avec toi. The grace of God will make you today. La grâce de Dieu va te donner. The grace of God will make you to be a great man. La grâce de Dieu sera que tu sois un homme. Great woman. Et une grande femme. The grace of God will make you. La grâce de Dieu va faire. To be worthy man, to be a worthy woman. Un homme qui sera une femme. The grace of God will make you to be healed from that ailment. La grâce de Dieu va te faire. The grace of God will give you a good testimony. La grâce de Dieu va ramener ta vie. In the mighty name of Jesus. Am I talking to somebody here? If I'm talking to you, can you put your feet? Si je te parle, tu peux. And say the grace of God will make me. Et il a grâce de Dieu. I want you to begin to talk to yourself. That the grace of God will make me. La grâce de Dieu va me faire. The grace of God will make me. La grâce de Dieu va me faire. The grace of God will make me. La grâce de Dieu va me faire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I'm going to talk to the Lord. And say I am where I am. Je suis ce que je suis. And the grace of God. I want somebody to lift up his voice. And begin to pray. May your grace make me. May your grace come upon me. There is something about a man that carries the grace of God. Nothing can put you down. You cannot be killed. The serpent could not kill Paul because of the grace of God in his life. There is something about the grace of God. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Oh God, let your flesh make me this morning. Are you praying? Are you talking to him? Are you talking to him? Pray somebody. Begin to talk to God. Set the level of the dish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Level the level, come on, come on, come on. Refresh, come on, level the dish. I want somebody to pray. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to Him. Say, let your grace be me, Lord. Let your grace build me, Lord. Let your grace keep me, Lord. Yabados kamade nevos kamalaya. Zetos kamado nevos kamede. Is somebody praying here? I want you to really pray. I want you to talk to Him. Hallelujah. Zakatos kamakates kamalos. Madie nevos na lava. Thank you, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, O Lord, my Father. As I begin to pray this morning, in the 
lose any affliction in my body. By your grace, begin to heal me. In the mighty name of Jesus. By your grace, begin to make me whole. In the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and pray that prayer. So begin to pray. If there is any affliction in your body, I want you to ask God, ask the Lord by your grace, make me whole. Heal me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hey, talk to the Lord. May your grace begin to pray healing in my flesh. May your grace begin to pray healing in my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the grace of God abound. Let the grace of God multiply in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your hands. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, arise this morning and let my enemy be scattered. Arise this morning and fight my battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, can somebody begin to pray that prayer? Hey, Lord, arise. Arise, arise, arise and let our enemy be scattered. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Yakata Kabosh Kapadala. Arise, arise. Somebody pray. Oh, God, arise. Let on my enemy be scattered. This morning, in the name of Jesus,
Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer. I will pray this prayer. Give me a large man over my enemy. Oh God, give me a large man over my enemy. Listen. Listen to me. When Penina was mocking Anna, come Penina from the table Anna. And God answered the prayer of Anna. In 1 Samuel chapter 2. Anna began to pray a prayer. He said, Thou will enlarge my mouth. Over my enemies. And we said that day, Penina chapter was close. The Penina chapter continued. Am I going to somebody here? Nobody will close your chapter. Your chapter will continue. And the chapter of your enemies. Enemy shall be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, Oh Lord, silence my enemy and give me a last mouth over my enemy and let my chapter continue. And may you end the chapter of my enemy. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. I want you to pray. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Oh God! Ya la valos kamala la 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 la. Rebus kamala rebus kamala la la. Nobody can close the chapter of our life. 
Personne ne peut faire mon chat. Nous voulons que la clause de chat doit être. Personne ne peut faire mon chat. 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 Personne ne peut faire mon chat.